One does not simply play this with the black pieces and then win in 22 moves unless your name is Magnus Carlsen. He's ripping apart Grandmaster chess opponents like this guy with white, Rasmus Vane from Germany, as if they are children. Patsers, not the seasoned professionals they are. How does he do it? This is just remarkable. We get d4 from white, taking the center. Magnus goes knight f6, still not putting a pawn in the center. c4 thank you very much I'll take the entire central squares here and Magnus just castles his king with six moves in he's got no pawns in the middle of the board this is titled Tuesday chess 23rd of April online blitz chess and after rookie one sensible move Magnus does something you are not supposed to do he picks up his knight on the queen side and pops it on a6 the edge of the board a knight on the rim is dim what's he got planned queen c2 and c5 finally striking at the center we're eight moves in in 14 moves time his opponent loses on time also ready to resign this is nuts d5 is played very principled taking all the space right and now this move just blows my mind Pretend you're playing with black, right? What would you do here? I think lots of us are looking at moves like e6 to chip away at the center. Maybe you start with pawn d6, right? Or you bring the knight back to c7 soon, prepare a6, b5 perhaps, that sort of stuff. What does Magnus do? He pushes forward with pawn to b5, a move that looks absolutely impossible. We've of course seen these ideas before, takes and then you go a6 and you give a second pawn, a kind of Benko Gambit thing, but hang on, after takes, your knight is attacked, so this move isn't possible, but this is where it now all pieces together in the most intricate fashion, it's just beautiful, knight b4 is played, picking up a vital tempo on the queen, you must pick up this tempo or else white gets time to go e4, consolidate the center and after queen takes on c5 best move you're two pawns down your knight is hanging well magnus just hangs on by a thread by playing knight f takes on d5 he wins back one of the pawns covers this one and now it's his pieces that start flowing into the game what an opening system this is. Now, if white goes e4 to chase away this one and then capture this knight, well, the problem is the weakness of the last move. This is deep stuff. You go knight d3. You fought the queen and rook here, and of course, after the queen moves, you take, you're an exchange ahead. What a tightrope he's walking here. Does he sit at home analyzing these sidelines? He must have an idea of what to do with the pieces in these weird and wonderful positions. So white goes knight a3 is actually the top engine move because there were ideas of rook c8 and knight c2 hopping to fork these two rooks. And now after a6 from Magnus, white out of their book, out of their comfort zone, goes completely wrong. The move you have to play here, and it's pretty much the only decent move, is queen to c4. Simple idea being you can then move the queen back to b3, extricate it from the enemy side of the board where it's a target. But after the very natural, pawn takes on a6, played look at the evaluation bar here having an absolute heart attack why because after magnus captures with the bishop here i'm highlighting all of the squares which the queen would like to go to if it could but it can't because they're all taken by black enemy pieces. I wasn't just playing a big game of Tetris on my board here. So what to do? The queen's completely stuck. We get bishop d2, desperate to play queen c1 if you give white one more move, but no chance. Magnus goes rook c8 and shuts the trap.
trap. The only square the queen can move to is a7, but then rook c7 comes and the queen is completely trapped over there. What a variation. So what to do? Desperation times. Pick up as many pieces as you can for that queen. A knight and a rook captured, but it shouldn't technically be enough. Magnus crashes through on b2 here. Look at these loose pieces here. Looser than a guy's pants who's just lost half his body weight. Falling over everywhere. Rook ab1 played, coming away from the attack, and queen a5 from Magnus. You take my bishop, I take yours, and if you go for a kamikaze like this, well then knight takes, rook takes, and the knight hangs at the end of the line here. So what to do? This knight stumbles back to c2. You can play bishop c3 here, or bishop h8. Get it out of dodge. But Magnus goes for a simple approach, taking the bishops off the board. Now queen c3, the two towers double, support each other, and this one covers the c2 knight, but now this pawn collapses on e2. Knight fd4, hitting the bishop. Magnus doesn't blunder it. Pawn hit, advances, and after e6, Magnus's poor opponent, Rasmus Fein, loses on time in a dead loss position. Just incredible. And if you want to sharpen up your opening preparation, then you've got to have a listen to this. The sponsors of this video, chessbook.com. This is Chessbook, your one-stop shop for building a custom opening repertoire. And what is so good about it is when you land, click on settings up here, well you can enter your own rating. It gives you a range, it's based on the platform you play on or your over the board rating and then from there when you come back and start building your repertoire, you know say I want to look at the white pieces here, I've already entered some stuff so I can practice or go to gaps, but if I wanted to add something new then bang, it brings up the board here, say I want to look at E4 today, well it shows me all the moves my opponent might play. You start building out and it doesn't just give you moves. If you click how to play from here, it gives you the ideas of the position. Critical. And then the best part is, because this connects to chess.com, Lee Chess, wherever you play, then when you come back in, having played some online games, you can go to correct your opening mistakes. And it will show you where you did something wrong under pressure, and now you can fix and learn. Give it a whirl. The link is in the description below. Go to chessbook.com. Com. It's free to start using. Don't even need to make an account. You get 100 moves to enter in and practice. And if you love it so much, you want to carry on. It's just four bucks a month. A cup of coffee, right? Link below. Check it out. And if you want to see another truly epic game of chess, have a look at this one. Anish Giri with white. Vladimir Kramnik with black. Just played. Really remarkable finish. Cheers.